So here's a common question. Can you cry in space? On my second space shuttle flight, I, uh, my main role was to be the lead spacewalker. The purpose was to go outside and build the huge robot arm that would then build the space station. Gigantic, multi-jointed, very complex, very capable arm. I was outside working. I'd been outside for several hours. My very first spacewalk, and I was lead spacewalker. And my drink bag, which just has water in it, has a little camelback sort of bite valve, started leaking water. And I saw some little drops of water floating loose, like, like little ladybugs around the inside of my, my helmet. One of them, I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden my left eye snapped shut in pain, uh, kind of blinded. And it felt like a, a bug had just got in your eye or you just put some real nasty liquid, little hot sauce in your eye or something. So your, my eye just stung like crazy. And you can't rub your eye or it's inside a fishbowl of a helmet. You can't even reach anything with your eyeball. So I just had to kind of take it. And, um, and it tears up, of course. But uh, without gravity, that tear uh, supply just builds and builds. And you end up with a bigger and bigger ball of tear on your eye, which in this case was contaminated. The real question was, what do you do? I'm out on a spacewalk. I'm working. And I figured, well, I got one eye working. Maybe that's why we have two eyes. I'll keep on working, you know, and I won't tell anybody. Maybe it'll clear itself. But unfortunately, the tear just got so big eventually that it crossed the bridge of my nose and went into my other eye. And now suddenly, uh, both eyes were contaminated while I was outside on my first spacewalk. I was blind, uh, which wasn't what I expected to happen. Uh, so then I, I kind of had to fess up, call down to Houston. You know, I, I don't know if I said Houston, I have a problem or not, but something like that. And, uh, and they thought maybe it was the lithium hydroxide in my backpack that removes the carbon dioxide from our exhaled air. And lithium hydroxide's nasty stuff if you start breathing it. So they wanted me to immediately open the purge valve on the side of my helmet and let the, uh, let the contaminated air start to flush outside. So it's weird to be holding onto a spaceship blind and what Houston tells you to do is now start leaking oxygen to the universe. But that's what I did, open my valve, listen to tss, as my oxygen is hissing away. And You'd think it might be terrifying, really, or at least fear-inducing, but it was actually kind of peaceful. I was, I was just comfortable. It was a nice temperature. I wasn't going anywhere. I was holding on to something. I could still talk. I could still hear, and uh, all I couldn't do was see. And after we got back in, that was like an eight-hour spacewalk, which is a long time for a spacewalk. You're so tired. But after we got back in and looked at it, the thought was probably that it was just the anti-fog on the visor had picked up one of these floated, or had been picked up by one of the floating drops of water. And it, so it was really just, in effect, squirting dish soap straight into your eye is, is what it felt like, which I really wouldn't recommend, especially if you can't rub your eye or cry. Uh, and uh, so we changed the, after that. I think we use Johnson No More Tears now for our, uh, for our anti-fog. Uh, but it was... It was an interesting day in that we had an important task to do. Something that would normally terrify you or me uh, happened, but because of all the training and preparation and visualization and thought and teamwork and everything in advance, uh, all it did was slow us down for a little while and we completed everything on the spacewalk and it turned out to be a successful day.